Hi, my name's James. I'm the Business Development Director at Adfield Environmental Systems. Today we're going to be looking at the two machines behind me. Now, these machines both uh, process the same types of waste. They're actually both the same primary chamber size, however, they are very, very different. One of these machines will last three to four times longer. One of these machines is more environmentally friendly and one of these machines will save 40% on fuel every single time you use it. If we look at those individual components then and we take environmental um, um, credentials, uh, with uh, incinerator machines like this, we have a secondary after chamber that cleans the gases. That secondary after chamber works at a temperature, a minimum of um, 850 degrees C for animal and 1100 degrees for medical machines. And all of the gases from the primary chamber have to stay in that chamber for a minimum uh, of two seconds to ensure those gases have been uh, cleaned effectively. Um, at Adfield, we computer model all of our machines and we thermally uh, model the flows through the systems. That enables us to ensure that the, the chambers are sized correctly before we go to manufacture, so we can actually prove the technology first. Um, as such, you'll find visually looking at these two machines, this machine's a lot, lot bigger because of the secondary chamber on the, on, the, on, the, on the side of it here. Whereas this machine here has a much smaller secondary chamber on top. Um, what does this mean to our clients? Well, in terms of um, um, smoke and odour, this machine's a lot, lot more resilient. So um, it has um, um, a higher cleaning capability compared to this machine. In fact, uh, machines with undersized secondary chambers um, are more susceptible to creating smoke essentially. Um, you may ask, okay, why would people undersize secondary chambers? Well, a simple way to say it is to save cost. Um, so if you want to build a cheaper machine, you undersize the equipment um, to clean the gases. The detriment is to the customer at the end of the day. Th those are the guys that will have it on site and um, nobody wants to see um, black smoke emissions from their machines. So it's, it's imperative that we get this right and again, we're really really proud of the machines that we produce so our Adfield banner goes on every single machine so we stand by the technology that we use in them. If we take um, durability and longevity of the equipment then next, so a very visual indication of quality of a machine uh, can be taken just by simply looking at steel thicknesses. So looking at the steel thicknesses on our, on our machine here you can see we're using 10 mil thick plate on the machine on my left hand side here we're using three mil thick plate and internally the materials uh, are used uh, a lot different as well so we're using much thicker materials on the machine on the right side so when we compare weights of these machines the machine on my left here is about about 800 kilograms whereas this machine has it weighs 2.2 tons and has a lot lot more materials inside it uh, and it becomes really apparent when you're when you're you're bashing these machines about in terms of the sounds they make um, we, we choose to build machines that last. Um, by building machines that last, our customers come back to them and us and they say um, how brilliant our, our machine was and they want to buy another one. So our oldest machine is, is 25 years old and still in operation today. Um, I'll come back to longevity um, in a second because it refers to refractory as well. But if we now look at efficiency of the machines, again, a very visual indication of machines, which is kind of difficult to see on, on the internet pages and brochures, is refractory thickness. So simply by measuring refractory thickness on the machines, you can see refractory thickness on the machine on my right-hand side versus uh, refractory thickness on my left-hand side is completely different. And um, what does that mean to our customers? Well, a 40% fuel saving um, on the machine on my right here. So our, our external steel temperatures don't get hot. So our burners um, don't have to put so much fuel in to recover that lost energy. Um, a 40% fuel saving shouldn't be sniffed at. It could equate to around 5,000 to 15,000 litres um, per year, and it's a significant amount of money. So actually, a machine like this, um, it could potentially be a little bit more expensive, but you'll end up um, overcoming those savings really in the first year's fuel um, bill for most people. Um, 
So refractory thickness is really important, but so is the materials used. So um, with the machine on my, my, my left hand side here, um, it's used a, a concrete lining. So to build a machine like that, it's very quick, it's very easy. You put a former in a steel case, you pour concrete in and you let it set. And, 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 it's, and it's pretty much done. Um, we choose to use this refractory brickwork. So inside this machine, there's three layers of insulation. And uh, time-wise, it's far more labor intensive to put each individual brick in place. So why, why on earth do we do it? Um, in terms of um, efficiency, when we're heating this machine up to six, seven, eight hundred degrees C, our concrete's against the steel, and as the, the concrete heats up, so will the steel. That will then radiate outwards, and will, again, it will create a very hot steel temperature. And this will have implications of kind of the paint systems that we can use. So on a machine that doesn't radiate a lot of heat, we can use a, a two-pack paint system, the same that you might find on the modern car. So you can expect the same kind of longevity. Where we've got hot steel work, that's when we have to look at um, um, limitations on what kind of paint systems we use. So you might choose to use uh, a high temperature paint system, but those kind of systems will have limitations in terms of durability, so they won't weather as well. So when we refer back to um, thin steel work and your paint's thinning, um, this is where you can get a high rate of corrosion compared to, to using a system um, like this. If we refer back to the refractory brickwork and those three layers of insulation, what we have in there is a, is a hot face, and the hot face is what gets hot. It keeps the temperature near to the waste. It doesn't radiate to the steel because we've got two layers of insulation behind there. If we talk about longevity in terms of maintenance, we've got a brick system whereby if you have a, uh, a brick failure, you change a brick. Even the modular top blocks are, are, are changeable. If you have a refractory failure on this, you're likely to throw it in the bin. Simple as that. You can repair cracks with concrete line machines, but very much um, um, what people find in colder climes where you go through um, hot and cold cycles in winters and the road breaks up, trying to fill a crack with this will ultimately lean the concrete probably will just fall out of that crack the next burn cycle. So it really isn't uh, effective to do that. Um, you could consider uh, wrecking out the concrete and putting a new lining in, but then you need a specialist former, then you need to weld steel anchors on to hold the concrete in place. If you weld steel anchors on, you're gonna create a lot of heat on the exterior steel work, so you then gotta repaint it. So why would you bother? Well, most people don't. So when we say these kind of things will, will last you know, 18 to 36 months, some shorter, um, it, it doesn't really represent value for money and um, again like I said it's very easy to see things on the internet and, and assume one is the same and one isn't but um, our oldest machine's uh, 25 years old and still in operation and, we, and, and 25 years ago we stuck to these robust, reliable, efficient principles and that transfers today 25 years later into the machines that we build. Um, ultimately, we're extremely proud of the equipment that we build and again, you'll find our name um, uh, has a really good reputation in the industry and we proudly display it in all of our machines. Um, if you would like to find out uh, more information about our machines, you can visit www.adfield.com. Thank you very much.